Welcome to another Blender Geometry Notes tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create this foam on objects in water. Let's get started. At first, go in Edit Mode and delete the geometry of the cube. We will use another geometry. Then open the Geometry Notes editor and create a new group. You can delete the group input. Add a big grid and connect it to the output. This will be our geometry for the water. Then use a set position node to change the position of the points in this grid. We want to use a noise texture node for this. But not on every axis, only on the z axis, so use a combine xyz node in between. For the water animation, we just use a vector math add node and a position node in front. We want to move the noise on the x-axis over time, so just add hashtag frame slash 15 in the x slider. By this, the current frame number on the timeline divided by 15 will be this value. The higher the number after the slash, the slower the water will move. I just group the nodes and name it for a better overview. Now I just create some objects in the water which will have the foam bubbles. Put them into the water and reference them in the geometry nodes tree with an object info node, which you switch to relative. When you got them, you join their geometry and connect that to an extrude mesh node. Disable the individual checkbox to extrude the mesh as a whole. Use a random value node for the offset scale to make the extrude look a bit more randomly. The foam will be at the borders of that slightly bigger mesh, which we extruded. I just group these nodes as well to keep things tidy. Now we make a mesh boolean on intersect to create new geometry where the slightly extruded objects and the water overlap. Enable the hole tolerant checkbox to make it a bit more stable. Then add a mesh to points node after that then you can already see the newly created points on the borders of the objects. And now you may have already guessed it, we will instance a little icosphere on every of these points. The base of the geometry is done now. I just use the z-axis of a separate xyz node and a position in front to change the scale of the little balls depending on their height to animate them a bit. Now you can just add a set shade smooth and a material to both of the paths. If you want to make the foam more wild and sparkling, you can connect a small random value vector to a translate instances, but that's optional. I just group the last bunch of nodes to tidy them up. Then I just create some simple materials to assign them on their respective geometry. When you are in Eevee, you can use a shader to RGB node to make the icosphere very unichrome. And then you're finished. With this method, you can create animated geometry around objects in water, for example. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, feel free to subscribe to see more tutorials like this. Have fun sparkling and see you soon.